holy cow, do we need a break. And not just because we lost our first league game in like 53 matches. It's because we've been playing games back to back to back to back, it seems, since the middle of October. From the 15th to now, the longest break we've had has been four days. I've got players out with minor injuries. I've got players out with major injuries. Uh, Marathi's out with pulled ankle ligaments. He's been out for a while. Dimitrioff is out for three or four weeks. So I had to go back to the 4-3-3 with the single striker at the top. But really, the injuries and the fact that players have needed to be rested got so bad that against Renova, I kid you not, I had to break out the 4 one one four, no no strikers. I had to go strikerless. It was literally the only way I could play and still get a decent amount of attackers on the field and guys who actually played the position fairly well. You know, it's something I've had. It's one of those things I saw on a video, and I thought, hey, that looks interesting. I really don't have the players for it, but I'll go ahead and train it. I can't show it to you now because I've already clicked into the RFS game, so I can't adjust it. But yeah, it's it's been one of those one of those runs. We did really really well up until the Tickfest match. We beat them in extra time in the Cup uh, eighth final. They beat us the next week in the uh, league, and then we thumped Tarasipol again five one. I really thought this would be a closer match, but the guys just absolutely turned it on. Elise and Dimitrov both had great games, and then we drew two against Bregolnica. Against Bregelnica, they got a goal in the 82nd minute to equalize, and that was after being a man down. And against Belasica, we just cannot get anything going. And against Renova, we beat them 3-1, thanks to a Marathi brace of goals out of the strike list. So today we're playing RFS, and then we're going to play Scoopy. Now, we've already clinched the group. Well, we've clinched second place in the group. So uh, beating Trasipol like we did um, gave us second place. So no matter what happens, we're not going to lose. We're going actually in the first knockout round. I believe that has already been selected. I could be wrong there. Let me scroll down here real quick. No, it hasn't. But it should come up before the end of this episode. So today we've got Grosinovsky in goal. Tosevsky, Stamkov, Ilyaski, and Jankov is the defensive back four. Tosevsky is the defensive mid behind Abaz and Niklev. And Mary and Ilyaski as the attacking mids. And Elise up top as the striker. And even then, some of the guys are sub 90%. I'm not a huge fan of that. But we have the winter break coming up. Everybody should be happy. And they should be healthy by the time we get back. Kuzdemir to Zerzhnis. Mazek. Stamkov heads it down. And Mary up to Elise. Elise. Long pass. Yaleski heads it back down to Niklev. He tries feeding Elise, but Vera steps in front of it. it. Was an ambitious pass. Probably not the best. Yaleski. Nice stop. Gets it to Nikolev. Jenkolov. Yaleski. Elise, Boz, Ilyaski, and a very nice stop by Makovic. Some of these names, I just, they're a challenge. Matrovic. My old friend, Lionel Wamba, up top. Masik. Johnson. Elise recovers, gets the ball to Amiri. Amiri, long pass to Ilyaski. He's got help, but Matrovic is there, and he can't control it. Ball bounces right to Elise and he puts it away. That was unlucky. I'll take it, but I will be the first to admit that was unlucky for them. Holy cow! I don't know why Il Il I don't know why Ilyeski took this shot. It's not like he was anticipating for that to happen. I think he was just forcing Matrovic to try and make a save, which he should have done. Looks like Matrovic tried punching it away and just absolutely failed. But wow, that was that was unlucky. I'll be the first to admit that. Kuznier, Zerians, Masik, Kuznier, Wamba's right there in the center. Emerson, and right at Kostanowski. Not the hardest shot in the world. He's going to bomb it down the field, isn't he? Oh, nice job by Mary. Back to Tosevsky. Centers it to Elise, who heads it down to a Mary. A freaking roadblock, and he scored. Wow.
Oh, we're getting absolutely gifted this game, which makes me wonder what's going to happen to us the next match. I mean, the guys essentially just ran into each other here. And he kicked it through Elise to score. I just... Vera heads it down the Masic. Back to Vera. To Johnson. To Israel. Kuznier out on the right. Zarens to Israel. Centers it to Johnson. Johnson up to Emerson. Who gets there. In the corner. Wamba's there. And I can't tell if Grosinowski tipped that over or if it hit the crossbar. That is halftime with a 2-0 lead. A very lucky 2-0 lead. You know, no highlights this second half so far. We're about 60 minutes in, so we're going to move a few people around. We're going to bring Tosevsky up for Nick Lev. Bring Vajon at the defensive mid. I think that's all we're going to do at the moment. Vera. Johnson. Emerson. Johnson. Awama can't get there. Ilyevsky, however, gives the ball away to Jernins. Wamba's there, and he heads over the crossbar. About 75 minutes. Got a couple players that are close to 60%. Abaz is at 59. See if we can't get him off. Going to move Elise back to the mid. Bring Ovevsky on as the striker. Ugh. Not a lot of highlights. And that is going to be the game with a 2-0 victory. Granted, a, a gift 2-0 victory. We beat RFS. That was nice work. They have a really nice stadium. So the draw should be coming up here soon. Oh, for crying out loud. And Tuseski's pitching a fit. Received 500,000. Player fitness concerns. I've been getting player fitness concerns the past five games. Received another 325,000. We reached the first knockout round of the Euro Cup 2. When do we find out who we're playing? Right here. So I will come back with that draw in just a bit. Then we're going to play Scoopy in the quarterfinal. So back with that in just a bit here. I had to step away for a bit. So the draw was automatic. And we're playing Slavia Prague, who are probably one of the better teams I would call in second tier European football. The Czech leagues are pretty good league. They're 13th in the world. And Slavia Prague has been near or at the top of the table most seasons. Yeah, it's either them or Sparta Prague. Lucas Provod is their captain. He's pretty good. A little bit older, but still. We've got our work cut out for us. And it's going to be one of those where we're going to have to hold on by their fire fingernails and just do what we can to win. So, Holy cow, is the squad that tired? And we put Ananovsky on the bench. So we got Grosnowski and goal. Tosevsky, Barty, Boznowski, and Jankalov as the defensive back for Vaj as the uh, defensive mid, but he looks to be an anchorman, defensive midfielder. I can make him an anchor man. No, he can ball. Ball winning mid on support. Tosevsky is center mid. Stankovsky is a Mazala, a Boz, and Ristov as the inverted wingers. Nevevsky up top as the striker. We'll cross our fingers. Get through this game. Have the nice long winter break ahead of us. Take a look at who's out there. Maybe move a couple of players. Ristoff might be one of them. Tosevsky's pitching a fit because he's not playing center mid at the midfield position. And he wants to leave, but frankly, he's a 19-year-old pitching a fit. I'm not having it. I'm not. I'm just not. And to be 100% honest with you, I would not be surprised if we lost this game. Belazi bombs it forward. Headed down. Nevesky ends up with it, but he loses it. Trashkov. Berdesky. Back to Trashkov. Markovicvili, Alvarez, Grigevsky, Stolyov, Rudesky, 
Trajkov, rather. Oh, nice header. Jurevsky, Diogo off the post. Bozanovsky kicks it away. Ristov gets it to Tisevsky. Out to Nevesky. Drops it off to Jankalov, and the highlight ends. That was an interesting place to end said highlight, but I will take it. Abaz from distance. Off the post, Marathi, their Marathi, kicks it and goes out of bounds. For a second, it looked like it was going to go in, but probably not. Marathi heads it away. Marion gets it before it goes out of bounds. Of course he does. Diogo. Headed back and forth. Stankowski to Dostoevsky. Oh, another foul, another shot from distance. A boss again. And this time he scores his 12th of the season. That was nice. I'm wearing the wrong glasses. I just realized that. Oh, you guys aren't going to notice the difference, but I certainly do because these are the bifocals I have to wear when I'm sitting at the computer. It's an old age thing. And in the rain, thanks to Nobaz, 37th minute goal, we are ahead. Look at the tactics here. I know Tosevsky was getting kind of low, but he's good there for now. Tosevsky in the throw in. Abaz, Tavaj, Tosevsky. Out to Jankalov. Jankalov centers it. Goes through. Novesky can't. Oh, he gets to it. Tosevsky. Crosses it in. Ristov can't get ahead on it. He lets it bounce. Gets it outside the box. Gives the ball away. And they in turn give it back. Bozanowski misplayed it with Vaj. Or, uh, oh, the other guy saved him. And we give it back again. This is not good. Marion. Inside, outside. And it goes over the crossbar. Wow, we dodged a bullet there. Make a couple of substitutes after this. Stankowski and Devage to a Boz. Back to Novesky. Tosevsky. Novesky takes a shot and allows a very nice save. We bring on Nikolev for Tosevsky. We bring on a Mary for a Boz. We bring on Stamkov. Of right back. Baj. Oh, hit the wrong button. To Nikolev. Nevesky gives the ball away. Alvarez. Treshkov. Bozanowski heads it down, goes to Ristov. Ristov tries feeding it, but Alvarez steps in front of it. Megabibishi. Headed forward. Grosinowski picks it up. Out here, on the right. Out here, on the right. Out here, on the right. No, you're going to bomb it. Barty. Tavaj back to Barty. Novevsky. Tavaj. Up to Ameri. Got between the defenders and he pushes it just wide. Oh, that was a good chance. Who do I have on a 5 8? Stamkov has the ball down to Ristoff. Ristoff's on a 5 8, probably. Novevsky. Pushing forward. Up to Nikolov. Nikolov centers it. Oh, and Stankowski can't play it. Headed forward. Nikolov. Now it ends up Bafajar's foot. He's driving forward. Back to Marathi. Alvarez. Back to Marathi. Crosses it in. Barty knocks it away. But Trashkov's going to pick it up. Gets it to Alvarez. To Marathi. Bafajar. Alvarez. And Marathi can't stop it from going out of bounds. That is full time. Despite the fact Ristoff was on a 5-9. Everyone else had a really good game. Wozniowski on an 8-1. And we are through to the semifinals, I believe. And we're going to play Belasica. Wozniowski did do a good job. And finally, we have Pandev in three days. And then mercifully, nothing. Oh, wait a minute. Another game a week later. 
do we have left? Pandev's Kandija. We'll come back for Slavia Prague. Home and away. Or in between. And we'll get Skandija and Pandev. But Skandija's seven days after the Pandev game. That's good. So, some solid wins for us. We're, we, we really need the break, though. It shows. Holy cow, does it show. If I go to the, if I go to the squad. You know, Dimitrov's injured. Um, Baj needs the, the, I got a lot of guys that need to rest. Frankly, I just may not schedule a ton or any uh, friendlies during the off season. It's just I don't know that there's a reason to. So we got Slavia Prague coming up. They're a really good squad. They got a goodly amount of money backing them. They're a fun team to play. I've looked at playing them before, and they're one of those that. Like you can go far with them, especially with the money they have. If you if you develop players right and do a good job, so they're actually one of the squads I looked at doing for next year's Sam and FM twenty three, but I'm going a different direction. So we lost the one game, so our invincible season's over, our winning streak's over, but we're still top of the league. We're nine points ahead of Skindija at the moment. Still got a plus forty seven goal differential. Our defense has been really really good. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I wish I could take all the credit, but that's not true, and we know that. You know, we've scored 54 goals. We've allowed seven. In 18 games, we've allowed seven goals. So I just wish our attendance was up. 9,400 is just... We've got a 40,000-seat stadium for crying out loud. Well, okay, not 40,000, but it's up there. How, many, how big is it again? Uh, 21. Let's check here real quick. Youth candidates. Goalkeeper, a central mid. Fine prospect. And nothing else. One of the things I was able to do a couple episodes ago was we have excellent academy coaching, we have excellent youth recruitment. Our stadium's 34,000. It's only a third full. That's not good. The end of this season, I will see if I can't get the training facilities for the youth back up. In fact, we have Excellent academy coaching, excellent youth recruitment. It's nice. So we're doing well. This season, this season's been quite transformative for us on very many levels, and it's setting the stage up for the future. The question now is which players are going to be here as part of that future? The answer is I don't know. Tosevsky's mad. He wants out, but he's 19 years old. I'm not letting him go unless I get a ton of money for him. If I have a ton of money, I mean close to the, I mean close to this 1.9 and the six hundred and fifty. So We'll have to see how it goes. That said, if you did like what you've seen and heard, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, contact questions, criticism, comments, leave those down below. I'll answer as fast as I can. My name is FM Delegate. Thank you very much for watching.